Welcome to another Bumpai video and today we have another brochure review and the brochure that I'm going to review is not this brochure of the Nissan 2400 GT but it's actually the brochure underneath the PMC brochure of the Rogier or Rosier dealership uh, let's dive into this. Um, the 2400 GT brochure is here because I need it for my story. So the story is that about 10 years ago I found this brochure in the local classifieds for sale. This is quite a rare brochure. I've seen it for sale maybe like four or five times on the local classifieds. Not sure if it's the same. Um, but not many of these 2400 GTs have been imported into the Netherlands. As you can see it's a left-hand drive car which is quite special for a Hakuska Skyline because that's what it actually is. It's a bit of a weird uh, oddball in the lineup of Datsun. Back in those days Datsun was importing these cars and sold them as Nissan 2400 which is weird because actually this was like sold in the Prince or, or the Nissan Prince uh, dealerships which were the old Prince dealerships. So I got intrigued on the Prince and Nissan merger and I was quite intrigued to learn why, you know, why this product got sold as a Nissan and not as a Prince motor company car. Well, of course, all products had to be branded Nissan in 1969. Um, the dealership uh, I was referring to earlier called Rosier or Roger, depending on the pronunciation, uh, whether it's a, a French or a Dutch pronunciation, um, this dealership imported many interesting cars into the Netherlands, including the Borgwald Isabella or actually the whole Borgwald uh, lineup. Uh, the Borgwald Isabella is considered to be like the, one of the most beautiful cars ever. Uh, they were also an early uh, BMW importer, so they sold really fancy, luxurious, fast cars, I guess. Uh, Prince Motor Company fitted to that description, I guess, if you know the history of the Prince Motor Company a bit. Um, for completeness, this is the actual address of the dealership in the Netherlands. I looked it up on Google Maps and Google Street View and unfortunately the building got demolished about a year ago, maybe half a year ago, I can't really tell, but it was there in uh, 2017 and 2019 it's gone. Um, on those pictures of 2017 I could still see that uh, on this side there is still a car dealership or car dealership, it's like a, you know, a, a garage. On this side there is a hardware store. So it was already in its demise and it wasn't called Roger anymore or Rosier. Uh, probably that company got bankrupt uh, a long time ago or moved on, merged into another company. I don't know. Um, if anyone has more information on that, I would absolutely love to learn what happened to the company. So, okay, let's open up this brochure. It's not a very lengthy brochure. It's only got like two pages, um, but it's got the entire lineup that uh, Roger was selling of the Prince Motor Company vehicles and you can see here we've got the PMC A150 Deluxe, the PMC A150 Station Car, the PMC A200 GT, the PMC B200 Deluxe, the PMC B200 Station Car. Now if you have got a, a very well trained eye you already have spotted that this car actually looks a very much like the Prince Skyline S50 and you're absolutely right this is the same thing. Um, the car might have a little bit different trim than the, the original uh, Prince Skyline but it's the same car. The same goes for this Prince Skyline van. It's the same as the PMC A150 station car. This car over here you can easily recognize that it's got a stretched nose and if you look at the body shape, it's also the Prince Skyline, but since it's got a stretched nose, it's the S54. We'll get into more detail later. And this car obviously resembles the, Nis, uh, the Prince Gloria and this one, the Prince Gloria van. So yes, they are the products that Prince sold back in the day. And if I look more up close to the three different skylines they have 
three different grills. Um, these two have white wall tires, the same accounts for the Glorias, they have white wall tires. The sporty version apparently doesn't, so maybe white wall was um, considered to be a luxurious product. Um, if you look more closely into the specs of this car, it's got like a 73 horsepower engine, four gears, it's got 140 kilometers per hour maximum speed, uh, 12 volts, um, light tinted uh, windows, white wall tires and a reverse light, uh, which probably was something luxurious in 1967 because that's basically the area we're talking about. Uh, station car, basically the same specifications, only it's got like a tailgate at the end. Um, oh, and it's got the uh, uh, spare wheel mounted underneath the car. Now, if we look into this Skyline, the Skyline GT, uh, it's got the six cylinder uh, with overhead cam. It's got 106 horsepower, which uh, makes it the six cylinder version with a single carburetor. So it's not the triple carburetor uh, of the S54B version of the, the Skyline. Uh, it's got uh, four gears of which the fourth gear has a f uh, an overdrive function. Um, it's also got a top speed of 170 kilometers per hour. It's got a radio, it's got safety belts. I'm not sure how safe those safety belts can be considered nowadays. Uh, you can adjust the, the back of the seats, which is very good. It's got um, disc brakes up front, uh, unlike the S54, which got disc brakes up front and in the rear. Uh, it's got a brake servo and it's got a sport steering wheel. So basically this is like the S50A, uh, sorry, S54A Skyline. That's about the specs that I can get from here. Um, and then moving on to the Gloria, it's got uh, uh, the same specifications in engine and uh, transmission wise as the 200 GT. So, uh, and it's got a maximum speed of 155 kilometers per hour. It's got a De Dion um, a rear axle. And apart from that, it's similar spec as the others. Uh, same for the station car. Um, only thing different is that the spare wheel is mounted underneath the boot again. Now, if I look at the pictures here, um, these drawings have been altered with the A150 Deluxe and A150 Estate over here. Um, the steering wheel is still on the right hand drive side which kind of makes it clear for me that these are actually drawings taken from the UK specifications. Uh, the car also got sold in the UK, it's also got sold in Finland as far as I know. I don't know if it's got sold in other countries as well, but please let me know. Uh, but anyway, so this is a UK spec uh, drawing, let's put it that way. Now if you look at the 200 GT, one thing you will notice is that it's still got a Japanese license plate on the drawing and it's got Skyline GT logos on the side of the car. I don't know if it actually got delivered with the Skyline logo on the side. I would be very happy to know or to learn from someone who has that knowledge. But uh, yeah, for me it's uh, quite interesting that this happened. Also another thing that uh, is very clear is that this car actually uh, doesn't have any side mirrors. You know, where were they? They weren't obligatory in 1967? I don't know, it's got uh, an inside mirror. Uh, but this one got uh, side uh, fender mounted mirrors. Um, if you look at the, uh, the B200s, both of them have the Gloria badging on it as well. So these pictures or these drawings were taken from the Japanese side, I would say. I mean, this also uh, has like the model code and not uh, the B200 on the uh, license plate. And these ones are clearly European drawings, a bit different. 
Uh, furthermore, um, you can send this in and ask them for more information and make an appointment for a demonstration. And then you have to fill in your name, address uh, and your phone number. Um, so yeah, I can send it in, but it will of course never be uh, delivered to Rogier. That's about it. What I can show you about this brochure, I found it very, very interesting to find a little piece of the Prince Motor Company history and, and find that in my own home country. Um, yeah, quite interesting to know. Uh, also, let me know if you wish me to review this Nissan 2400 GT brochure. That's basically the follow-up on this brochure. Um, I looked online for the Prince Motor Company uh, information in Europe and looked up the 200 GT. The A200 GT actually had a brochure. It was on a Dutch website. Not sure if it's a Dutch brochure or a UK brochure, but you know, if I can find it or if you know someone who has it and can make scans for me, I would be happy to review that as well and give you all the information that I have. Um, that being said, uh, that's about it that I can tell about it. Uh, thank you for watching and hope to see you next time. Ah!